Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 142. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 133 to 130, 145. Hey, this 142 is actually going to have four parts. The first part, we're going to look at custom number formatting and conditional formatting. Now, the custom number formatting, we have this grid. Here's some employees and the date start and end. This is amount of time they take it, they have taken off. And we have this huge table here with all these dates up here. Well, we don't need those dates that wide. It would be nice to have the date there, which has a serial number underneath, which we can use in conditional formatting. For example, if I control one here and apply general number format, we can see that that's a serial number, the number of days since December 31st, 1899. Control Z. But we need that serial number for our true-false formula in the conditional formatting. But it'd be nice if we could use um, custom number formatting. So let's highlight. I'm going to click right here and hold Control, Shift, and right arrow. And that goes all the way to the end here. Now I'm going to Control, 1. And what I'd like is just to show the day. So here I need 28. Here I need 27. Control, 1. We can see the sample there. All we do is click on Custom, and we're just going to highlight that type area and not use that one. We're going to use the D, Month, Day, Year. So D. Oh, excellent. Click OK. See, that's just f uh, formatting, right? You can still, still see the date up there, and underneath is f even further is a serial date. Now, we can make lives easier on, on ourselves since this is such a big table, and very carefully highlight all the columns. See my arrow pointing down, that means I'm highlighting column. And then double click between any uh, two column headings, like that. Whoops, that didn't seem to work. There must be something big up there, and there is. No problem. For this one, we're going to have to do it by hand, like that. Now, in fact, it would be nice if they were all the same width. Here's another trick. We can highlight all the columns. And then pick the biggest one, like right here, and just move it a little bit, and it and it fits all of them exactly the same. So we've done some uh, custom number formatting. Now let's do something even better. We'll have to change the column widths again. Let's have the numbers there, but right above, um, let's put a formula. So I highlighted all those empty cells, and in the dark colored cell right now, there, I'm going to hit equals, and then I'm going to click on one cell below and control and enter. See how that custom number format got uh, applied up above? Let's change this so we can see the days of the week, because eventually we're going to do uh, conditional formatting based on the weekend. So it'd be nice to see the Saturday and Sunday up here. Control one. Under custom, instead of D, we'll put M. And you can always see the format evolve as you type it MM. And three M's will, will give us month, which is not what we want. We want D, D, and then D. Click OK. Hey, that didn't work. So let's highlight. I mean, it did work. It's just not wide enough. So let's highlight. And I'm going to double click. Oops, I did something wrong there. I'm going to highlight the columns again. And double click. Let's see if I can do it carefully. It best fits. Oh, and we have our problem again here. So I'm going to zip. Maybe even a little bit smaller. There we go. So they're all about the same. Wednesday looks like it's the biggest. Um, in fact, of course, we could do our little trick again where we highlight all the columns and then click on the biggest one and just go boop, move it a little bit, and then they're all the same. Now, that's. Uh, custom number formatting on the number tab in the format cells dialog box. Remember the keyboard shortcut is control one. Number custom. Now let's do conditional formatting because what we want and um, is we want to highlight the whole column when it's a weekend. So this needs to be green. But also the time that they took off. So the 27 to the 31 needs to be so way over here. 27 to 31 needs to be red for that person. And actually, in an earlier video, we've already uh, seen how to do that one, where we highlight between two dates uh, and highlight the row. So we'll do that one kind of fast, and we'll do the weekend one a little bit slower, because that's the new bit here. I'm going to highlight this whole range. And with conditional formatting, it's always the light-colored cell up in the um, upper corner where we are going to 
build our true false formula in memory, but it's as if it's in memory, but it gets copied down and over. So we're going to have to use our mixed cell references. Now, conditional formatting in 2007 is home styles conditional formatting new rule. In 2003, it's formatting, conditional formatting. And the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is Alt-O-D. O-D. I'm going to say new rule. And uh, we're going to build our um, uh, let's see. We're going to build our weekend one. You ready? Equals week day. And the weekday is going to be simple for us. It's just uh, the, at the top of the column here. Either one of these to do because they're both serial numbers. So you click on that. But notice when we copy this down, we need it locked on the 1. But when we move over, we need it to move to the 2. So I have to change my cell references by hitting the F4 key once. That puts a dollar sign in front of the row. So it's locked going down, but not across the columns. And that has to equal, well, um, we forgot an argument here for weekday. And um, if we put 2 comma 2, that means that the days are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So Saturday is 6, Sunday is 7. So I say equals 6. Hey, but wait a second. That'll just give us uh, Saturday. We need both uh, Saturday and Sunday. So now we're going to have to use an OR function. So OR, not AND, but OR, because it can be either OR. Either one that comes out true will be fine. Now I'm going to highlight this whole thing right here. Copy, and then I'm going to do comma, control V, and I'm going to change this to a 7. So it can be uh, the weekday of that serial number. Notice if we just typed a number 1, 2 there, it, this would not work. Because uh, the, the beautiful thing is Excel knows serial numbers, and it, it's we use the weekday function, and it knows which one is Saturday and Sunday. So there it is, and let's add some green, fill. I'm going to do more colors in 2007. That's called patterns. Pick whichever color you want. I'm going to pick that green, that green right there. I can't seem to click that one. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Oh, there's more. Click OK. There's more OKs. And sure enough, we have all of the uh, weekends, which is a handy visual uh, cue. Now, we're going to do another um, uh, true false that'll apply this the dates the whatever cells uh, relate to these dates so alt o d new rule use formula in 2003 the uh, this formula is uh, is the very first uh, text box you click the drop down and point to formula is now I did that one real quick because uh, we've done this one in earlier videos you can click pause and then type it in. But that E14 refers to that. has to be greater than or equal to this. And it's that one's locked across the column. That one's locked across the row. And then this one right here, same thing, rocked across the row. But it's got to be less than or equal to that, right? It's all in the context of that cell right there. So I'm going to copy down and over. These cell references will change. And then I'm going to say format, red for, for, border, for uh, pattern or fill. And then font color is going to be white. Click OK, click OK. Now you come over here, and uh, sure enough, that's exactly what I want. Now I'm going to Alt OD and show you something. In 2007, you can move these up and down. Um, but th this right here, this red one, needs to be on top because it's the one we want to apply first. This gets applied secondary. That way, we can, we can already tell from the column that this is uh, the weekend, and sure enough, the red is on top because we want to see the amount of time that they work. Now when we come back in our next video, it's going to take a couple more parts. We're going to do some um, analysis. We want to count the total days that they actually took off. Then we need to count the weekends, which will be the most complicated formula, and only count the weekends that are part of the time they claimed off. And then we need to count the DOs because those are actual day offs within there that they're allotted within their time off. And ultimately, we need to calculate the actual days off. So for example, over here, we'll have to have the total days minus the weekends that they already get off and minus the days off that they already have. And that'll be the total amount of days that they're docked for taking time off. OK, this is part one. We'll see you uh, for part two, three, and four coming up. All right, see you next video.